Some families are forced to spend Christmas in evacuation centers due to heavy rains and flash floods. The Bureau of Corrections allows limited inmate-to-inmate -inmate visitation for the first time this holiday season. And the much-awaited 2022 Metro Manila Film Festival opens today with eight official movie entries. Fast, focused, and fearless. Here's a roundup of stories we're watching now. I am Mon Gualvez. We begin tonight's newscast with heavy rains causing floods in some areas in Visayas and Mindanao. Misamis Occidental Governor Henry Waminal imposed forced evacuation in affected areas. In Barangay Maningkol, Ozami City, authorities had to use ropes to rescue residents under neck-deep flood. Meanwhile, some 10 families in Barangay Pines, Oroqueta City are currently staying in evacuation centers. Over in Eastern Samar, houses or some houses along Kabay River in Balangkayan Town were overcame by water, while low-lying areas in Llorente Town were inundated due to the torrential rains. Residents have since been evacuated by local authorities. One person was injured while another one is missing in Zamboanga City after heavy rains caused floods in several barangays. Mayor John Dalipe called on concerned agencies and city departments to provide assistance to affected residents. Pag-asa says the shear line and localized thunderstorms will continue bringing rains over Palawan and parts of Visayas and Mindanao. Other areas, including Metro Manila, may also expect rains due to Amihan. The country's top executives are wishing Filipinos a meaningful Christmas celebration. In his online greeting, President Bongbong Marcos said he hopes that this Christmas drives Filipinos to unite for the sake of the country. Buksan natin ang ating mga puso sa diwa ng pagkakaisa. Naway ang ligaya at saya nitong Pasko ang siyang maging bukal ng lakas upang patuloy tayong magsikap para sa ikabubuti ng ating minamahal na bansang Pilipinas. Vice President Sara Duterte also expressed hope that Filipinos will remain united despite differences in principles and beliefs. Hangad ko na maging makabuluhan ang ating selebrasyon ng Pasko sa kabila ng mga pagsubok na dumadating sa ating buhay. At sana ay magpatuloy tayo sa pagiging matatag para sa ating mga sarili, para sa ating mga pamilya, at para sa ating bansa. Maligayang Pasko sa inyong lahat! Pope Francis is calling on Catholics worldwide to remember the people affected by war. During his Christmas Eve homily, the pontiff noted that hunger for power has caused people to turn against their neighbors. He also urged people to look beyond consumerism and remember those who are suffering from war and poverty. The Pope is set to deliver his biannual Urbi et Orbi blessing and message from St. Peter's Basilica later tonight. We'll be back with more stories after the break. Keep it here on One News. You're still watching One News Now. I am Mon Gualvez. 
The 48th Metro Manila Film Festival or MMFF opens today. Let's check in on cinemas with Ian Suyu reporting live from Quezon City. Ian, how's the crowd over there? Mon, hundreds if not thousands of families are now lining up to watch their favorite MMFF movies here at SM North Edsa. After two years of COVID-19 restrictions, families and friends are now trooping to cinemas to celebrate their Christmas Day outside by watching movies. Despite the influx of visitors, mall security remains strict as they require people to present their vaccination cards before availing tickets. Vice Ganda and Divana Alawi's Partners in Crime appears to be the highest grocer so far among eight MMFF entries. We also went to neighboring mall, Trinoma, where the same movie is also leading the pack. A lot of people are also watching Nadine Lustres' The Liter and Jake Cuenca's My Father, Myself. Mon, earlier at 4 p.m., The Liter star Nadine Lustre came here to visit her fans, while Vice Ganda and Ivana Alawi just recently made an appearance moments ago. Mon? Ian, aside from the VAX card requirement, may iba pa bang mga health protocols na inobserve dyan sa mga sinihan? Actually, to be specific, no, yung vaccination card requirement sa Trinoma yun. Pero pagdating dito sa SM North EDSA, they are not requiring the moviegoers for any uh, particular vaccination card. And even yung pagsusuot ng face mask, medyo lenient na rin sila doon. Well, para sa mga gustong humabol, Ian, anong oras bang last show at may tickets pa bang available? Yes, Mon. Ang last show natin is around 10 p.m. daw. Um, uh, my teacher and yung movie ni Vice Ganda na Partners in Crime. So kung meron pa mga hahabol dyan, kung gustong manood, pumunta na po kayo dito at posibleng magkaubusan na ang ticket in a bit. We still have time. Thank you. That was Ian Suyu reporting live from Quezon City. Over in Manila, Christmas street parties are back after two years of COVID-19 restrictions. Josh Camo with the report. Cheers and merry making fill the air as Manilenos welcome Christmas with a festive street party. In Barangay 557, both young and old dance to a DJ dropping beats. This is the Barangay's first relaxed holiday celebration since the pandemic began. Talagang excited yung mga kabarangay dahil after two years uh, under pandemic, ngayon lang muling naging masigla ang barangay. Alex, a former resident, says he still returns yearly to Barangay 557 to celebrate Christmas with his family. Tradition talaga namin dito na every Christmas, New Year, dito mag-celebrate kasi sobrang saya dito. In Barangay Bumper 463 Manila, residents also took their party to the streets. Children eagerly played games. Kasi po, ano, Christmas, tapos para, ano, di ba, diba ng pandemic, walang mga ganap. Kaya ngayon, ito kasi tradisyon namin to, taon-taon. Kasi po, ah, uh, baka normal na! Of course, there's also people singing and reunions being held. Even their barangay chairman joined in on the phone, giving away cash prizes. Almost 50 years na namin ginagawa to. Kaya kung mapapansin nyo, maaliwalas yung kalye, walang uh, mga sasakyan. Uh, talagang sineselebrate ng mga pamilya yung uh, ang celebration ng Kapaskuhan. Ngayon, siguro, patulong na rin sa mental health nila. na medyo Kasi kung patuloy tayong kakapit sa pandemia, hindi tayo makaka-move on. Amid all the holiday festivities, the health department reminds the people to be vigilant of their health. Maging mindful po tayo sa ating mga kinakain upang masaya nating maipagdiwang ang isang ligtas Christmas. And with most parties now being held face to face, the DOH reiterated the importance of COVID-19 vaccines. Vaccines remain to be our best defense against COVID-19. Get the job done and get your boosters done para sa isang ligtas Christmas. For News 5, Josh Camo, We Are One News. Some persons deprived of liberty are allowed to visit their fellow PDL loved ones during the holidays. Gio Robles with the report. Christmas behind bars can be tough. But it's a different story today as several persons deprived of liberty or PDLs finally reunited with their loved ones. 
The Bureau of Corrections said nearly 50 inmates from the Correctional Institute for Women in Mandaluyong have been allowed to visit their relatives who are imprisoned as well at the New Belibid Prison in Muntinlupa. Hugs, kisses, and tears overflowed as Maria, not her real name, met her brother after three years. Both are still grieving after their mother died while they are in prison. On the other side of this holding area, one father and daughter did not waste time to catch up. They said it's been over five years since they last met. Meanwhile, siblings Elizabeth and Matthew were overjoyed to spend time together after 16 years. Matthew has been detained in Belibid over a rape case while Elizabeth faces drug charges. The Buker said over 300 more inmates will be allowed to visit their imprisoned relatives. This is part of the Bureau's efforts to promote mental health and compassionate justice in the National Penitentiary. For News 5, Gio Robles. We are One News. For more updates, visit News 5, the Philippine Star and Business World online. Visit our website, onenews.ph, for more in-depth analysis. You can also catch One News on the Signal Play app. Register for a free account now at www.signalplay.com and stream One News live anytime, anywhere. I am Mon Gualvez. We are One News. <laughs>